Hey there, it's me, Katie Beth, again. And welcome to this week's episode of College Cooking with Katie Beth. <laughs> I say that like it's a weekly thing, like I do it all the time. So for this week, I'm going to be making a pasta salad, a sweet pasta salad. Um, it's for a church function. I'm going to be donating it. Uh, well, come with me while I shop. So you can't see the sign, but we're at Walmart. So Walmart doesn't have the good salad dressing, so we'll have to go to Target for that. So this is the salad dressing I was looking for. Um, it's Brianna's Homestyle Blush Wine Vinaigrette. Um, they generally sell it at Target, Walmart, and Stater Brothers, but it's not consistent. Um, sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. Uh, like at this Walmart that I went to, they had every kind of this brand except for the delicious one as you can see in this picture. Um, I actually ended up finding this one at Target. They're generally about $3. Both Walmart and Target have them for about $3, a little more. I think they're almost like $5 at Stater Brothers though. Kind of weird, but whenever I can find them, I generally buy like two or three of them just because I don't know which store I'll be able to find them at. So at Walmart, I was able to get some good apples. Uh, they didn't have the good salad dressing, so I still have to go to Target, but Aldi has some killer cheese deals. So I'm coming to Aldi for the cheese. So look at these amazing cheese deals. I'd like to point them out to you, but um, I over shopped again and I can't really physically point things out, but look at this. So the other thing I was going to buy at Walmart, but I completely forgot about is pasta for my pasta salad. But here at Aldi, let's see if I can aim it in. We need these colorful macaronis and they're only 89 cents here. So ingredients, I now realize that I uh, didn't really give an ingredients list in the beginning, but it's a super simple salad to make. This batch that I made actually was supposed to be large, um, supposed to be for about 25 people, but it's a side salad, so I kind of made a little extra. Um, so here's the recipe. It's really easy. You're gonna need pasta for your pasta salad. Don't be like me and go to the store and completely forget to buy pasta. Good thing I went to another store. Uh, so you need the pasta, and the pasta that I use is like the, uh, the multicolored spinny kind. Um, they have like the different tastes, but uh, you don't really notice it. So you need the pasta, apples. Um, red apples are the best, but I also mix in, um, some of the goldish red ones, they're pretty good, but red is the best. I tried it once with green apples and it just wasn't the same at all. So pasta, apples, cheese, go for a cheddar. I either use a mild or a sharp cheddar. Um, for this salad, I went with the mild. I don't know what people are gonna like, but so again, pasta, apples, cheese, and then the last ingredient is the blush wine vinaigrette. Um, again, this stuff is delicious. So you just uh, make all those, chop them up, do this thing, yeah, mix it up and make a salad, and it's really delicious. Um, I. I did donate all of the salad that I made, so I didn't save any to uh, let you watch me eat. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. Um, so I didn't save any, but it's delicious. It's always delicious, again, especially with this. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I hope this salad is uh, salad recipe is useful to you. It's a great thing to take if you ever have potlucks you need to go to. It's delicious. Um, it is more of a sweet rather than like a oily salad. I'm not really into other type of salad dressings, <laughs> but again, I love this stuff. Um, I hope this recipe was helpful, even though I did it in a weird jumbled way. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.